Hey guys, Ultra Maximus here. Give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And jump over to Facebook and like my page to upload your video links, pictures, and join the conversation there. Click on the links in the description below. Hey guys, now follow me on Instagram at Ultra Maximus Reviews and Twitter at Ultra underscore underscore Maximus. Links in the description below. Oh, hey, look, it's He-Man. That is Prince Adam, not He-Man. Perhaps I was wrong. You suck. <laughs> that was awesome. Maximus back with another toy review and today we're going to take a look at another Masters of the Universe origin figure set and it's Prince Adam and the Sky Sled. So I picked this up at my local Walmart over in Center Grove, Indiana. They only had the one. It was $29 and some change so I had to pick it up. It was the only other figure they had besides He-Man, and if I'm going to get He-Man, I might as well get Prince Adam. I had them both as a kid and liked them. Um, I love the artwork here. Of course, it comes with a sky sled, uh, which is cool. Uh, we get the classic art up here. We get a couple other vehicles uh, shown in the artwork that I hope we do get. Um, I think that would be very, very cool. And then all the art kind of goes around the box and we see the sky sled, the accessories it comes with, uh, uh, Prince Adam and his pink sword. So the interesting thing about that, it looks like the solid piece sword uh, for Adam, unlike uh, He-Man and Skeletor who have the half swords. So that's pretty interesting. So let's just do a close up up here. Um, and again, it says Masters of the Universe. All that cool artwork, very neat new for 2020 and then it uh the artwork kind of continues down on the top of the box there is prince adam in there and then the sky sled with all the accessories and then the artwork uh very cool and then it says of course prince adam and the sky sled on the sides uh back of the package again has some very nice artwork of the good guys beating up the bad guys and it says, when his friends are in danger, Prince Adam leaps in his sky sled and flies into the rescue. And of course, we get all the other figures in this wave. Uh, the only other two I've got so far are He-Man and Battle Cat, and I've uh, done reviews on those. So go ahead and uh, take a look at those. I'll add cards in this video. And then it's got the play gimmicks on this, which is very cool. You can actually turn this from the good guy sky sled into the bad guy sky sled by changing out the panels and the heads going from like the griffin uh, to a snake looking head, which is very nice, but that means I'm going to have to buy another one so that I can do that. And if you remember back in the day, the sky sled was actually the front component on the battle ram and uh, we, we don't have the battle ram, but uh, hopefully we'll get another vehicle set with the battle ram so we can combine the two and that would be awesome. So just kind of a quick close up of the artwork on this one, just to take a look. Very nice. Very cool. I am digging it. And then of course, all the other figures in this wave that you can get hooray and then here are the play gimmicks right there of switching out the components which is a very cool very nice uh will definitely be fun and that's pretty much it for the packaging let's go ahead and get the sky sled and prince adam out of box and see what we think so here we have Prince Adam and the Sky Sled out of the packaging and this is a really fun set i will say 
After going over this figure set, there's really only one gripe I have about this, and it's the fact that Prince Adam does not have a uh, sword sheath to put his power sword uh, on his back. I don't know why they just didn't mold a little sheath on the back of his vest here. That could have been done very easily. Uh, alas, they did not. The other minor gripe is with the sword, while it is a solid sword, unlike the one that He-Man was given, the handle on the sword is just a little bit too big for the grippy hands, and it tends to want to fall out and or stretch out the hand. So I wish they would have tooled that a little bit smaller. It almost feels like they just took a classics sword and threw it in the box. Speaking of accessories, one noticeable uh, piece that is missing that's on all of the promotional materials is the yellow mace. Now this is the mace that comes with the man-at-arms. Here we have it here. This is actually for my macho man-at-arms. Uh, but it does not come in the actual box itself. Uh, so be aware, I looked through the box like three or four times, thought I had missed it. It's just not there. And I've seen a few other reviews online and they make no mention of it either. So just FYI. Now there are some other pieces that are cool. Uh, you did get a blast effect of, for the sky sled here. So this will plug in right there. And while I like that, it, I don't know, it's, it almost looks a little silly. It kind of reminds me of a flower or something. I personally don't use it, but eh, it is what it is. You also get some extra pieces for the sky sled. So I'm gonna put Prince Adam back here. I'm gonna take this off right here. So you can actually disassemble this and switch out the parts to make it from the heroic um, piece to the non-heroic, uh, the bad guy one, if I can get my fingernail. I don't have any fingernails, so this is kind of difficult. Hang on. All right, there we go. Right up here. And then you can plug the bad guy pieces in here. And there we go. We have a completely different sky sled, uh, which I definitely dig. The other cool thing about the sky sled is that the gun moves back and forth to give him some flight range. I wish that the um, uh, handlebar up here also moved. I think that would have been cool, but eh, it is what it is. Definitely some fun stuff though. I like how you can switch that out. It really just makes me want to get another one so that I can make an evil and a good sky sled for my figures. Now Prince Adam, just like He-Man and the other figures, uh, basically the same mold. His head moves up and down, uh, left to right. It is on a ball joint. He's got a swivel at the waist. Arms go up, twist around. He's got a hinge at the elbow. Also twists the... Um, uh, hands twist and have hinges. There's ball joints and we got a fly in the room. There's a ball joint at the uh, legs. They twist. Um, knee has a hinge and a twist, a twist at the boot. And then we've got a uh, hinge at the foot and he's got that crazy ankle rocker pivot we love! With this being his widest possible stance with both feet still flat on the floor. Now, of course, the big play gimmick with this is that uh, Prince Adam can ride on the sky sled and a lot of the other figures can as well because, well, they're all built the same. Now, Adam does come with two gripping hands, uh, which is useful because it's got the two handlebars on top of the sky sled. And it's obviously on the little uh, display base here, so I'm going to unplug this. Oh my gosh, I'm going to rip the head off here. Ah, come on, get off. There we go. Goodness gracious, that thing plugs in really, really heavy. Uh, so you know it's not going to fall off the stand, so that's kind of nice. So there are two plugs uh, that you put Adam's feet in. So you're just going to kind of plug his foot in there on that side and then plug it in on the other side. I always have problems with this right side for some reason. Um, once you plug them in, they're usually pretty good to go. Bend him up a little bit and then make sure he grabs the handles. Come on. There we go. There's that one. There's that one. And of course the feet came undone when I did that. So let's plug the feet back in like this and like this. Kind of raise him up a little bit and there we go. We have Prince Adam on the sky sled. 
All right, so as you can see, he fits on pretty well. I definitely like that. Looks good. Whoosh, fly around. Um, he fits very securely on there. He doesn't fall off, wobble, or anything like that. So once he's on the vehicle, it's actually very, very secure. And then we'll just plug this back in, maybe. Just good night. So much pressure to get this thing on there. There we go. Like this. And let's kind of pull it back a little. Yep. And there we have Prince Adam on the Sky Sled looking all kinds of cool. Love the stand. I love how it's up in the air. And I don't know, I just like this vehicle set. So taking a closer look at the figure itself, I mean, it's the exact same sculpt that we get with the He-Man, and it makes sense because it's Prince Adam. They're basically the same figure. Um, I do like the pink uh, vest with the white shirt. I think that looks pretty good. The shirt's just kind of painted onto his body, which, you know, it's okay. Uh, I wish we had some black wash in the hair to kind of, you know, give a little bit more definition to the hair itself. Uh, the sculpt marks in the vest, the seam marks, look really nice around the collar and the kind of the shoulder pads there. Now, the shoulder pads, the vest itself is kind of a soft, pliable rubber uh, that is removable if you wanted to take it off. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, it looks like Prince Adam to me. Now, looking at the midsection of the figure, again, uh, definitely has that Prince Adam kind of vibe to it. Uh, the pink vest, the white shirt, he's got the black uh, belt with the little uh, kind of gold button on there. Um, looks cool, the pink sword. He's got the gauntlets on his wrists that are white, just like they were back in the day. The only real difference is he's got the articulation, uh, which is nice. And it's got a bit more vibrant color to it um, than the original figure had. His vest, the original toy head, was more of like kind of a mauve color than it was pink, uh, but this matches the show a lot better than the toy did, even though I thought the toy was a bit more of a boy color, but yeah, it is what it is in the 21st century. And finally, taking a look at the legs of the figure, uh, we got the purple, uh, the loincloth, not trousers, but loincloth, uh, the purple tights, uh, light purple tights, and the, the darker purple uh, boots uh, with the white fur around there. Very, very much like the original Adam uh, figure and cartoon back in the day. And uh, much like the other figures, they've got kind of that weird looking knee, but they still wanted to get that original retro vibe design of the leg. And, you know, I think they achieved that, uh, you know, that old school look with today's articulation. And it works. And taking a closer look at the heroic Sky Sled here, uh, again, I love the fact that it's interchangeable. Uh, what it comes with uh, is the heroic head sculpt, which is kind of a griffin uh, that looks pretty cool. And then we've got this green crocodilian uh, decal on the side, uh, which this is the one, when I think of a Sky Sled, this is what I think of. But there was that evil version that they flew around in the show as well. And I really can't remember if they did differ. I know the toys did, but if they actually did differ on the cartoon. Leave a comment down below if you know for sure. I'm gonna have to go back and watch some old He-Man cartoons. Uh, but the fact that uh, we get that is very cool. I hope we get the rest of the Battle Ram so that we can plug the Sky Sled into it. I think that would be awesome. We could do a Battle Ram and another figure uh, set in like Wave 3 or something. I think that would be very cool. Um, the fact it's got the, uh, you know, stand also very nice so you can kind of display it up in the air. Uh, it's got the stickers. Uh, I didn't really kind of mention on the back uh, that's kind of got... Uh, uh, I don't know, radar blips, uh, which is very cool when you're looking at it uh, holding the handlebars. Now, the handlebars are different from what we got in the original. These are actual handlebar grips, whereas the original, they were kind of uh, cuff-type things, and uh, that matched the show, I believe, uh, where this is a totally different design, but, I mean, it makes sense. When I see a vehicle, I think, you know, they look like handlebar grips, so I'm down with that. And here we have a look at the evil Sky Sled, and it's got kind of a snake type of head, um, which actually pops on and off very, very easily. I dig that. And then along the sides, we've got this kind of red dragon uh, looking decal. Uh, the 
original figure, you had stickers that you could put on and make it evil or not. And this one actually has panels that you can pop on and off, which I really do dig. I think that is a very, a very cool. And uh, it totally changes the look of uh, the vehicle and the fact that, uh, you know, they gave us that option. I'm really, really appreciative of. It's just, you know, one of those fun little things. And it's, it's going to make me buy another one just to have both types of sky sleds. For comparison, here we have Prince Adam next to He-Man, and they've got the same exact uh, head sculpt, although Adam's hair looks a little bit different in color. He-Man's hair looks a little more yellow than it does blonde, um, but it might be the pink and the, the different colors of the outfits. But they're both very bright, very vibrant, uh, nice cartoony colors. I definitely dig that. And of course, Adam's got his pink power sword to match his pink vest. And he's always, the toys always had a pink sword. And eh, eh, I guess it is what it is. But they definitely look cool side by side. So is Prince Adam and the Sky Sled from Masters of the Universe Origin, a set that you want in your uh, Motu collection? I'm going to say yes. The vehicle is awesome. You can get a heroic or an evil version. Prince Adam looks good. He's got a nice cartoon look. Uh, the biggest drawback here is that the sword, that handle is a little bit too big. It keeps falling out of his hand, and he doesn't have a sheath on the back of his pink vest to hold it, and uh, to be honest, that's the biggest gripe I have about the entire set, and that's pretty darn minor. So if you're into Motu, you like the Sky Sled, hopefully we get the rest of the Battle Ram. Uh, you know, I think this is a good set for 30 bucks. $15 for the figure, $15 for the vehicle, comes with uh, a stand, you can't go wrong. So there he is, Prince Adam with the Sky Sled. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And jump over to Facebook and like my page to upload your video links, pictures, and join the conversation there. Click on the links in the description below.